At the end of this week's Torah portion, Moses, Moshe, looks into the future with God's help, and he tells the Jewish people that I know, after my death, you're going to stray. But Rashi, the greatest of the biblical commentators, points out that we see later that the Jews did not begin to stray after Moshe's death. They only began to stray after the death of Moshe's disciple, Joshua, Yehoshua. So if Moshe was able to gaze into the future with God's help, why didn't he say, I know you're going to stray after the death of my disciple, Yehoshua? Why did he say, after my death? And Rashi answers that question with a beautiful lesson. Because, he explains, to a teacher, his disciple is as precious as his own self. So as long as Yehoshua was alive, Moshe, up in heaven, felt that he too was still alive. In the Talmud, the Sages make a statement in a similar vein. They say that if you tell over a Torah thought or lesson that you heard from someone before their death, that person's lips move in the grave. I'm not sure if that's meant to be taken literally, but what an incredibly powerful image. And the sages say further, who is a wise person? Someone who can learn from anyone. Sometimes it's easy. You're in a class with a great sage or professor. As long as you're paying attention, you'll learn something. But other times you have a brief meeting. You just pass by someone of nondescript personality or profession or both. More difficult than to tease out a lesson. But if you're wise, you can do that. And there's another lesson built into that statement of the sages. Because if everyone has the potential to be a wise person, which we all do have, and we can all learn something from every person, then that means that you can teach something to every single person in the world. Maybe you have some life hack that you can teach to many different people. Or maybe you have all sorts of different things that you can teach to different people, depending on their degree of sophistication or experience or age. You could teach chess. Hold up. Y'all don't know how to play chess, do you? And look, I'll teach y'all if y'all want to learn. And look, check it. It's simple. See this? This is the king pen, all right? And he the man. You get the other dude's king, you got the game. And he's trying to get your king too, so you got protected. And you see this? It's the queen. She's smart, she's fierce. Or even better, you could teach Torah. You could teach morals. You could teach manners. You could teach midos, good character traits. You could teach patience. You could teach respect. You could teach honesty. You can teach kindness. And when your disciples, when your students start learning your lessons and modeling them and then teaching them to others, you, congratulations, have just taken a big gulp from the fountain of youth. You've extended your life throughout the lifespan of your students.